Today we have a special class. We have a special guest. Patricia from Antena 3 in Spain is going to help us teach English students who speak Spanish. En la clase de hoy vamos a ver algunas entrevistas en inglés para ver qué errores cometen y así poder solucionarlos. So every language has problems when they learn English. English is a difficult language to learn. Sí que lo es porque el inglés se escribe de una forma pero se pronuncia de otra. You don't have a... You're not, you're not married, right? Um, so the first thing is the accent. Let's look at, for example, um, Sofia Vergara. Yes. Is this Colombian yes, coffee? Yes, we're trying to be... Yeah. I'm just a hot Latin girl, I mean... Right? Sí, ella es encantadora. Do me a favor, say, say a chicken for me one more time. Chicken. <laughs> Her accent is so nice. Sí que lo es, lo que pasa es que tiene un acento colombiano muy fuerte que no pierde cuando habla otros idiomas. Pero, ¿de verdad que no sabes nada en español? Her accent isn't perfect English or perfect American, but it sounds nice, it sounds different, it sounds interesting. You can pronounce things correctly without losing your accent. For example, when she says this word... The beaches in Colombia... You have everything, you have beaches, you have... Beach should have a long sound. Al decir playa, la vocal se alarga mucho más que al decir zorra. Beach. Who's a bitch? Okay. Uh, um, if it's a long sound, it's beach. But if it's a short sound, it sounds like bitch. So the next thing is the V and the B. B y V. In Spanish, this sounds the same. But in English, it's very important to pronounce them differently. The B is very easy. Just lips together. Labios juntos. And B. Exactly, yes. The V is different. You put the lip on the bottom set of teeth, close slowly, until you get the V sound. V. Exactly like that. Perfect. Gracias. Bless you. Okay. Next we have the TH sound. Now in Spain Spanish, they have this sound. C y Z. But the Latin Americans, they don't have it. So how can we pronounce this? Well, it's quite easy. You just put the tongue on the bottom set of teeth. The teeth close slowly until you get the th sound. Exactly, like that. Gracias, es fácil para los españoles. Thanks. I, you look very nice too, I think so. ¿Cómo? Um, so final words. Thank you for this interview. Interview, view. Social cohesion. Social. Private initiative. Initiative. My view. My view, not my view. Country. Not country, no. Country. Ah. And how do you say these words? Mountain. Mountain. The A, you just pronounce it like with an I. Mountain. Mountain. Exactly. And this one? Yes. Uh, it sounds like it's more in the throat, like eggs. Eggs. Exactly. Perfect. That one, wasn't it? Gracias. Bless you. I mean, must be getting sick, the weather we're having. Pero me estás vacilando. O sea, eres tonto. Es que no aguanto esto más, de verdad, es que me largo. Parece gilipollas el tío, es que me niego a hacer más vídeos de este tipo. Sin convertirme a más a poder. She sounds so hot. Hi. Hi. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's class. If you'd like private classes, so general English classes. Classes de inglés general. Uh, exam classes. Classes para preparación de exámenes. Those include IELTS, the Cambridge exams, or perhaps group classes. Classes grupales. Then send us a message. And please leave us your comments below. Tell us what you thought of the lesson. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
So let's start with ways of how to just give your opinion. You can say these things to start the debate. I'm of the opinion the government is fundamentally wrong. I like to think I'm more handsome than Tom. Tom, 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 you've got to come around right now. I've arranged for us to have a photo of the Queen's baby. The, the Queen's baby? Or whatever, you know what I mean. P. Nappy. Soccer. No, 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 no. You can't say that. It's football. Ow. Don't ever say soccer again. All right, don't cry about it. 